This video gives a brief demonstration of the PowerCom software which can support up to 16 different question types. Here we have a single number question. And we've actually set this up as a demographic. Incidentally, the little box in the bottom right hand corner shows how many people have voted. When we look at it by demographics, we see that the southern region think more highly of it than the northern region, 38% against 8. We can set correct answers against questions. For instance, how stood the wind for France? The answer here is fair, it's the name of a book. We can see who got the fastest finger first. Keypad 3 followed by 4. We can see what the highest individual scores are for the quiz to date. And if we had teams, we could see a team result. Powercom can have multiple chart types, and you could even place charts on a separate slide as seen in this example. We're going to ask this question twice. We'll get the first result, then maybe we'll consider there's been a debate, and we'll ask the question a second time, treating it as an impromptu. We'll do a slide compare with the previous question. On the left-hand side we have the original vote, on the right-hand side we have the second vote. Let's look at the text messaging feature of the, of the Plus keypad and the PowerCom software. Let us ask the question, what else could affect the price of diesel? And we open the text messaging screen. And people are entering into their uh, Plus keypads text messages which they're sending, price speculation. War in the Gulf, recession, refinery capacity. We can choose any or all of these options and we can make them larger using the pop-up screen facility. We could also choose the options as we have done here and we are using them as new answers for a new question where the question is which is most likely Price speculation is considered the biggest choice. We can do multi-digit single answer questions up to 30 choices, choose one. We can do range questions where you ask people to enter numbers and the software sorts out the bar they go into. We can do multi-digit multiple answer questions up to 30 answer choices, X of them are correct, choose the ones you think are correct. We can do priority questions. We ask people to enter items in order of priority. First choice, second choice, and there's your third choices. Charts under text, or maybe even no chart at all, just data. A weight priority chart shows the the weighted results in a slightly different way to the previous priority. So Germany and followed by Spain are considered most likely to win the next World Cup. Programming PowerCom is simple. Insert a PowerPoint slide in the normal way, putting your question text in the upper box and your answer choices in the lower box. There is a simple four-step polar wizard where you start setting the parameters of your question. This is a single digit entry which we are going to designate as a demographic. There's no correct answers but you'll put your correct answers in there. You can change the fonts, the colors of the bars, the type of bars and the way you show the results. Set music or a countdown clock. Then simply position your chart and that's all there is to it.